Warren Buffett has famously said that he tap dances to work every morning. Now, Buffett is not working because he needs the money. Clearly, he has more than enough to support his modest lifestyle. Well, modest for a billionaire, anyway. Buffett tap dances his way into work and continues to work into old age because he loves what he does. He will never retire, he doesn't want to retire, and shouldn't this be our goal too? To find work that we love and that we never want to retire from? In this 2012 interview, Buffett was asked how the rest of us can find a job that has us tap dancing into work, and Buffett offered this advice. But tap dancing to work, Warren, how can other people tap dance to work? What's the secret of that? You find your passion. You find your passion. I was very, very lucky to find it you know, when I was uh, seven or eight years old. You're lucky in life when you, you find it. And uh, you can't guarantee you're going to find it in your first job out. But I always tell the college students that come out, I say, take the job that you would take if you were independently wealthy. You know, that's, you're going to do well at it. There's a lot of wisdom in that advice to take the job that you would take if you were independently wealthy. But there's just one problem. It's that word, job. If you were independently wealthy, I'm sure you would want to do work that you were passionate about, but would you take a job? I wouldn't. The point of financial independence is to have freedom and autonomy and to exercise that freedom in your life, to do what you want. Taking a job doesn't fit with that. But the thing is, doing what you want probably leads to work. Because you're a human, and that's what humans do. We work. We work on projects. We make things better. We get things done. Work helps give our lives purpose, meaning, and happiness. So even if you achieve financial independence and retire early, I suspect that you will continue to do work as long as you're physically and mentally able to. Work is defined as activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or result. That's a broad definition, which could encompass anything from cleaning your home, to exercising, to playing guitar, to cooking, to working part-time at a coffee shop, or even to making YouTube videos. Work is simply a part of life. It's often an enjoyable part of life, and without work, what are we left with? We're just consumers of someone else's work. So that's work which is different from a job. A job can be defined as an assignment at which one regularly works for pay. Assignment implies that it's someone else's idea that you're working on, and this definition also implies that you'll do this on a regular schedule, whether or not you want to, rain or shine, regardless of whether there is a better use of your time. Buffett tap dances his way to work because it's not a job for him. He's the boss. It's his thing. It might look like a job from the outside, but he's spending his time the way he wants to spend it, and he's doing the work that he wants to do. This can be your life too, by achieving financial freedom, becoming your own boss, and doing the work that you want to do. The point is, work and job are two different concepts. And I think we need to keep these separate in our minds. The idea of financial independence and early retirement is not to stop doing any work. It's to gain autonomy over your time. The idea is to embrace work that fulfills you and let go of a job that's bringing you down. When you're occupied with a job, you never get that autonomy over your time to engage in work that matters to you or to discover new opportunities. And when we think about financial independence and early retirement, we often think of leisure. Leisure is certainly nice sometimes, but unlimited leisure is not really living. We need work because a big part of life is about the work that we do. The work of raising kids, the work of helping other people, the work of improving conditions, the work of solving problems. And maybe some of that work brings in income, or maybe it doesn't. Either way, you are your own boss when you do your own work. You have autonomy while at the same time getting that good feeling of accomplishing tasks and goals. So back to Buffett's advice. Take the job you would take if you were independently wealthy. Let's tweak that advice for those seeking financial independence and early retirement. Let's change it to do the work that you would do if you were independently wealthy. This is the goal of FIRE. Not to cease work, but to have the autonomy 
to do work that you want to do in the way that you want to do it. Warren Buffett achieved fire a long time ago, and you'll get there too. And at that point, you'll ditch your job and embrace your work. You'll find your passion, and you'll do the work that you would do if you were independently wealthy. You'll build the life that you never want to retire from. Of course, your work will look different than Buffett's work, but whatever your work is, you too will be tap dancing to work every morning. And now it's time to tap dance over to this video for more thoughts on fire. (music) 